Okay. All right, here's the next one. Jesus um, fucking Princess Mononoke is on here. Again. I immediately know who this is. <laughs> you do? Yeah. <laughs> I, I immediately know who this Ain't is. Ain't no way School Days is on here. I immediately no know. I immediately know. I saw Arjuna. I saw School Days. I saw Made in Abyss. Yeah, don't tell me. Um, I don't know actually. What's the bottom? What's the bottom right one? Uh, that's the that's Shinkai. A, film. Uh, that's voice a, of the voice distance, of the distant stars. stars. Or something like that. Yeah, it's the first Shinkai Makoto short film. One of these is not like the other. <laughs> I know, I, I know. Why is Pokemon this? there? Because <laughs> the Lugia movie's fucking the awesome. The Lugia movie does slap, but not as good as the not as good as the Mewtwo one, dude. Come on. The, oh, I mean, the first one, yeah. Yeah, the Mewtwo yeah. one goes hard. Yeah, the first movie is definitely the best one. But I, I, is this is this, is this Shindo L? I can't tell. No, Kevin? I think this is Kevin. It's Kevin. It's Kevin. Oh, okay. I look look at this. Everything aside from fucking school days has That's amazing. Right. Music. Uh, <laughs> has amazing. I, I just wasn't sure if, if Kevin would put his own. <laughs> <laughs> show on that. Is, is, mean, this, is, Kevin? is show. this Kevin? This is Kevin, right? Yeah, okay, ah, of okay. course. Because literally every show other than School Days is considered to have some of the best soundtracks in all of anime. Yeah, it's 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 definitely much. It's very much. Hey, this is a composers. Dude, the Lukia movie, the soundtrack is fucking insane. I don't remember it's, that. It's actually really good. I was this the Japanese version? Because in the English version, I can't even. I can't remember. Sometimes they would re do songs in English releases. Well, they did that I for the Digimon movie, right? The soundtrack probably yeah. didn't redo though, right? The soundtrack uh, probably didn't change. Oh no, in, in the Digimon movie- Digimon movie, uh, the soundtrack's completely what? different. What? Yeah, yeah, they, um, All Stars. All Star is a track in the Digimon movie. Why? They, they put like bowling for soup. Yeah, so it's like <laughs> less, less, less than Jake <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's it's actually, it's actually sick. That's officially in the Digimon movie. It, right? is, that, it, is, the most, it is the most late 90s, early 2000s soundtrack you'll ever hear. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say, I think they made an improvement. I think it's better. I, uh, <laughs> I think the English soundtrack for the Digimon movie is better than the original. Yeah. You know, when when you that know, bowling for you know, soup track you, comes on, bro, you know, there must be some. There must be some like uh, you know. Sometimes you want to used to watch a movie and you're like trying to pirate a movie as a kid, yeah. and then yeah. like the the Korean version comes up. You're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I imagine maybe there's a, like a, a Japanese kid somewhere trying to watch Digimon. Yeah, and then he pulled up like the English version. He starts hearing all stars like. Yeah, nanny caught it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Banger! Holy oh, oh, shit! <laughs> they had uh, they had bare naked ladies as They're well. Bare naked ladies. <laughs> Dude, that soundtrack is good. It's um, such a good soundtrack. Okay, and look, look, let's let's break this down, all right? Obviously, Kevin's gonna put in Made in Abyss because he made the fucking soundtrack for it. Yeah, uh, then, this then, is then, then it could have been a three by three of his entire Kevin's greatest hits, but it's not. So, well, I think I think knowing Kevin, I think he, Kevin has favorites. He has I, favorites for yeah, sure. Yeah. Like Made in Abyss is probably his his. I mean, it is his favorite, obviously, because it's on here. Um, yeah, everyone, but also, <laughs> Kevin just giving himself the gold medal. Okay, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, I, all right, I, yeah. you you deserve it, Kevin. Uh, you um, know, Akira has an amazing soundtrack. Mononoke, Arjuna also has an amazing soundtrack. Um, what the fuck is Arjuna? So Arjuna was, uh, it was a, sh oh, when was it? Early nineties, I think, late eighties, something like that. Uh, was it a, um, was it a, uh, what's his name? Anna Hideaki show? I'm trying to remember. What? No, 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 <laughs> Arjuna <laughs> anime. <laughs> <clears throat> 2001. Oh wow! Oh, it was actually way after. Oh, that was an, that's the series, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a series. You want yeah. to have a movie, um, perhaps? Is it a movie? No, or? I think it's a series. I'm, well, the I'm one. Sure. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the director's cut. Yeah, Chikyu Shoujo Arjuna. Is it? Is it Arno? The 2001. What is that ad? 2001. What, 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 what is, is that <laughs> fucking ad? What is Yo, that scroll ad? down. Scroll Yo. down. Scroll down for a second. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, anyway, I I've I haven't seen all of it. I've seen clips from it, but so it's, what it was the show about? Well, let's let's look at the mail. <laughs> yep, because I actually don't remember. Juna Ariyoshi is an ordinary Japanese schoolgirl. <laughs> Connor's like I sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who possesses a childlike curiosity and a strong admiration towards nature. One day while on a trip with her boyfriend, Juna dies from a motorcycle accident. However, she's given a chance to live by an individual named Chris Hawken. Well, it's a very English name all of a sudden. He offers her powers that makes her the avatar of time. In exchange, she must fight to protect the earth from evil forces. So, okay, so it's like a it's like a early 2000s uh, like sci-fi. Uh, yeah. But I do know for a fact though, that I have, I have when I've 
talk to Kevin about like anime music, he does bring up Arjuna a lot. And he mm. says that, that this series is the reason why he started making music and why he wanted to wow. make music for anime. Well, I hope it is because it's scored as 6.78 on my anime. <laughs> yeah, so you gotta have a good reason for liking that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he, but he, uh, according to Kevin, he's like, Arjuna has one of the best soundtracks that he's ever heard. Oh, uh, sure. in, in all of anime. Yeah, because I know, I, I think what immediately gave this away for me, just uh. immediately seeing this is, number one, a lot of these are films and films normally have, you know, a more, especially if you're a composer, mm. you know, you're allowed to have, I guess, sometimes it's more impactful to be able to score like music for certain, like for like a feature film, mm. whereas for, a certain like anime series, you know, you kind of just have to make certain tracks, not knowing what final scene they're going to be used in. Yeah, mm. and that just means a lot of film scores end up being very, very memorable and very, very impactful. Mm. Um, I have talked to him about uh, Terran Resonance, Zanku no Terra as well. Oh, what an amazing and soundtrack! That is his favorite soundtrack of all time in terms of anime and mm. it is mine as well. It's one of my favorites I Actually, well. to, to be fair, it, was, it does say something because I actually don't remember much about the show, but I do remember that the songs are always very compelling. It's, it was yeah. the Icelandic infused yeah, yeah. Uh, music, yeah. 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 I do like the terrorism though, that was fun too. <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing matches terrorism more than Icelandic music. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do you know, I don't know if we, I don't know if we need to cut this, but do you know, do you know something uh, interesting about Terror and Resonance? What? So, okay, so the show, is obviously about a group, a group of terrorists, right? Mm. Yeah. It, so when this was airing, the, I can't remember if it was their ninth or 11th episode got delayed. I do remember this happening, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what date it aired on? 9-11? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Holy shit. That was, I'm like, when I have- why it got delayed or it pushed it back to like- I can't remember. I just remember like, it happening. Hold on guys, hold, hold, hold on. Hold on, you know what would be really funny? We had <laughs> such a funny moment. Someone in the boardroom was just like, we can make something really- <laughs> We can send a message with this. <laughs> we can make something really funny happen right now. Jesus. But uh, no, but to me, I still think that I still really, really fucking like Zanki no Terra. Yeah, it's a good show. Was it, yeah, I remember when it came out, everyone was talking about it. Mm. And it yeah. Was really, I mean, it just kind of disappeared after that year. I think a lot of people uh, were not happy with the plots and the characters, but um, I, I don't know, something about the feeling that show gives is there has been very, very few shows. And a lot of this is to do with the soundtrack, but a lot of this just a lot of individual scenes I, as well. I don't fully remember what the plot was, but I know that they were terrorists and they had a, a, a solid reason. <laughs> In hopes <laughs> so. That's it, that's all I remember. But I, I also distinctly remember being like, ah, okay, we, we did terrorism and uh, and now it's over. And now the show's over. It's like, okay, cool. Guys, terrorism is over. Guys, it's like, uh, I, remember, I, I remember watching it feeling like it should have been longer. It was what, 12 episodes, right? Yeah, it was 12 yeah. episodes. Yeah. Cause you know, nowadays we're starting to get some 24s popping mm. up and even longer. Right. Yeah. That was, I think when this came out, it was, there was only 12 episode animes coming out. Does Kevin have any piece. reasons for why he put these on or? No, no I reasons. Mean, I, I, I mean, I, I guess can, it's self I can pretty much guess which with most no, of these. I just want to know why he put school days on there. Cause I'd love to shake his hand. <laughs> I just. Because uh, let's just say Kevin, probably, didn't, was, put it, Kevin he, didn't put it on there for the fucking soundtrack. He was, probably, you that. he was probably grinning, going like, oh, I could do a cheeky move here. <laughs> <laughs> put school days on my list. That's my Kevin. Is that your Kevin impression? <laughs> do a cheeky I'm move. school days on my list. <laughs> Sounds like a Brexit geezer. Go ahead. <laughs> I just <laughs> wake up, school days, watch Kevin, it. Kevin, you realize now that you are one of the most actual respected you know, staff members in the anime industry right now, especially in composers, you know, fan and industry alike. What the fuck is School Days putting, like doing on here, Kevin? I mean, what is it doing on here? I mean, my respect went up for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well deserved, I would say. I don't want to hear- If I didn't already love you, I love you even more now. I don't want to be listening to fucking Made in Abyss having the existential crisis of my life. He definitely then, did this for me. And then in the back of my mind, I'm like, you know, School Days played a part in making this, you know? <laughs> You know, you're, you're talking like you're talking like anime creators have the most well-adjusted views <laughs> on most things. God, God, come on. 